The Forum for Cultural Industries, entitled The Economy of Culture, which has been organised in Barcelona by the Chamber of Commerce, the Ministry of Culture and the European Committee for Culture, as a prelude to the informal meeting of the European Union's Ministers of Culture, has omitted to include one panel in its programme. No doubt by oversight, surely because of time pressures. The Citizen Symposium, The Returns of Culture, which rubs shoulders with the Forum and the meeting of Ministers, has decided to help them mitigate this oversight and has invited leading representatives from the cultural industries to participate in the missing panel, What Returns for Culture. Here we have Mrs. Dolores Hernandez representing Pro Musicae, a trade group of Spanish recording industry multinationals famous for its propaganda work largely financed by the culture ministry itself, such as, for example, its website, which has cost taxpayers almost a million euros in 2009 and Mr. Herminio Torquemada on behalf of the Coalition of Creators, a coalition that, in spite of its name, does not represent any creator, but instead brings together almost all the lobbies and major entertainment multinationals in Spain and the US. Have you discussed how public funds invested for this purpose should generate public value? Perhaps I'm not explaining myself. I'd like to know whether any criteria other than economic competitiveness has been taken into account when deciding on public funding for the cultural industry. Okay, let's keep it simple. When funding is allocated to private, legitimate interests, does any thought go into how this should also benefit the public interest? I'd like to know whether any criteria other than economic competitiveness has been taken into account when deciding on public funding for the cultural industry. What I mean is, has this forum taken into account the social returns that should emerge? Has this forum taken into account the social returns that should emerge as a result of public policy in favour of the cultural industry? Have you discussed how public funds invested for this purpose should generate public value, value for citizens as a whole, not just particular sectors? Or the impact of these types of policies on the construction of socially inclusive and sustainable cities? Okay, let's keep it simple. When funding is allocated to private, legitimate interests, does any thought go into how this should also benefit the public interest? <laughs> Has this forum taken into account the social returns that should emerge as a result of public policy in favour of the cultural industry? Or the impact of these types of policies on the construction of socially inclusive and sustainable cities? When funding is allocated to private, legitimate interests, does any thought go into how this should also benefit the public interest? Perhaps I'm not explaining myself. I'd like to know whether any criteria other than economic competitiveness has been taken into account when deciding on public funding for the cultural industry. Have you discussed how public funds invested for this purpose should generate public value, value for citizens as a whole, not just particular sectors? Evidentemente. 
What I mean is, has this forum taken into account the social returns that should emerge as a result of public policy in favour of the cultural industry? Evidentemente, sí, claro, evidentemente, evidentemente. Está cubierto el tema de creatividad, sí. Perhaps if we focus on European debates, we might be able to understand each other better. How is the promotion of the cultural industry related to democratic access to different kinds of cultural expression? How is the promotion of the cultural industry related to democratic access to different kinds of cultural expression? Thank you.